29 forecast. Well, twilight views from the Charlottesville Albemarle Airport. Certainly another gorgeous day. Temperatures back in the 60s. We had a front that came through this morning, but still plenty mild as that cooler air lagging behind. 60 is the current number at the airport. 67 today's high. North wind now at 8. Dew points continue to lower, so the atmosphere is beginning to cool down. 49 at Valley Airport in Weir's Cave. Touched 60 earlier today. Winds out of the northwest there at 9. Some other readings. We've got 56 in Orange. Same there in Palmyra. Myra 52 currently in Lovingston, 53 in Waynesboro, 49 currently in Stanton. Temperatures here tonight will slide back in the 30s. It's been a while, but uh, generally in the mid to upper 30s east of the Blue Ridge, but temperatures close to freezing in the Shenandoah Valley. We've got Partly cloudy to mostly clear skies now, but more clouds will begin to fill in for the overnight period. Then they'll mix out for some sunshine here for Saturday, so a blend of clouds and sun. It's a cooler day, but that's a lot more seasonable here for early February with temperatures generally in the upper 40s to low 50s east of the Blue Ridge and upper 40s across the Shenandoah Valley. We are dry for Saturday. Attention turns then to Super Bowl Sunday. In the morning on Sunday, temperatures will be at or just above freezing and precipitation will develop during the the morning hours, but pick up in intensity as we move into the afternoon. Now temperatures are going to struggle into the upper 30s to near 40, but the onset of this could certainly begin as a wintry mix area wide. Areas north and west will likely hold on to that mixed precipitation a bit longer. But right now, mainly a cold rain across central Virginia could start and maybe end as a period of some winter weather. But the Blue Ridge and Valley could hold on to that cold air a little bit longer, so more of a wintry mix and some snow. Now, we've had warm temperatures this week with the warm ground. Accumulation may be hard to come by, but certainly just wet roads. But as we get into Sunday night, temperatures will begin to cool back down. So any residual moisture or what's left out there could certainly pose some icy issues. So right now, across central Virginia, a trace to less than an inch, but you climb with elevation into the valley and points west, you could have maybe one to two inches of snow that accumulates uh, during that time period. In terms of rain, anywhere from half an inch to just over an inch, so pretty good soaking with the heavier activity poised off to our south and east. So clouds will fill back in tonight. Uh, the storm uh, frontal system that came through early this morning is lined right along the coast, and we have a developing storm now in the Gulf that's going to ride up along that boundary. Some upper level energy is back here across Arkansas and Louisiana and that'll help energize this storm as it begins to make the turn and work up along the southeast coast through the weekend. So in the morning on Saturday, we start in the 30s. We'll have a blend of clouds and sunshine, upper 40s and low 50s. Here we are Sunday morning. Now this actual time, this may just be a Virga initially, but likely mixed precipitation at the onset. And then it goes over to a cold rain. But then as the storm system begins to move away, it wraps in the colder air. So areas out to the west to hold on to the snow could end as a brief period of a mix here across central Virginia. Tonight we're in the 30s, mostly cloudy skies. We've got some sunshine mixed with our clouds tomorrow, upper 40s, lower 50s. Colder day here on Sunday. We'll watch that storm, although it does appear at the onset. Everyone sees some mixed precipitation. Areas north and west hold on to that longer. There could be accumulation certainly in the mountains and the valley, and then maybe across central Virginia it ends as a brief mix and temperatures back in the 50s and 60s next week. All right, Eric. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will be right back.